All right, so we're checking out the only game where Mother Nature leaves social media comments about what a good job you're doing at slaughtering innocent people with tornadoes. It's Tornado Strike Zone. More bitch Beep. Mother Nature, damn it. Tornado Strike Zone is a game that has absolutely no regard for scientific decency. As you go through the game, apparently you eventually shove your tornado fist up the rectum of the world so much that the winds exceed over 1,000 miles per hour. Just giving this house a real quick shave. That moment when a tornado literally parks right in front of the path of your car. Take out this house. I mean, I can't say no to Mother Nature. I'm not gonna lie. If, it, if this game starts with destroying houses, I'm wondering what you destroy in the end. As you can see, after contributing to homelessness in America, we're almost ready to move on to the EF3 tornado. However, once you eventually get to the final levels of the EF5, Apparently, the tornadoes go completely off the scale into the realm of impossible. That's what I want to get to. Humans are stealing our power. Take out the wind turbines. I love how these people tried to make the cleanest power they possibly could with the wind turbines. And Mother Nature is like, take their wind turbines, impregnate their wives, and if you can, give them cancer. Can I pick up sheep? Oh, they're chickens. You can totally pick them up. Oh, God. Oh, no. I just realized roof repair has to be like the best business in this entire town. Hey, Mother Nature, it has the word wind in it. Does it count? Nope, just destroyed that for nothing. Never mind, totally counted. I love how everyone's house is made out of popsicle sticks and broken promises. Now Mother Nature is pissed off at solar panels. I think she's just like me. She just wants to see the world burn. This is what you get for having technology. My favorite thing is to do full U-turns in people's backyards without them even knowing. Like. The wife comes in and she's like, hey, honey, have you seen the dog? And the husband's like, yeah, yeah, I put him out there about 10 minutes ago. Why? And the wife is like, because he's been replaced with an oil tanker, a solar panel, and a crying child. I'm already at an E4. How big are you allowed to make these things? I'm not even out of the EF3 levels yet. Humans rely on their farms to create food. Take out the sheep. That's right, sheep. This is what you get for not having free will. People be like, that bastard tornado is taking our sheep. I'm not taking them, I'm tenderizing them for you. It's like making V. <laughs> Look at the animation. These sheep are so damn thick, you have to become an EF3 in order to pick them up completely off the ground like this. Come on, sheep. Come with me. I will take you to freedom. Freedom happens to be at the bottom pits of hell. <laughs> It split into five pieces. It's like a uh, sheep pizza. See, I'm making it into slices. Everyone can have a little bit. Just hang out right there, sheep. I'll be back for that ass in a minute. I need to get faster. Mother Nature's like, great. This will look fantastic on my Instagram. If there's one thing Mother Nature loves capturing, it's the emotional trauma of human beings as everything that they love is stripped away from them. I just realized something. You can actually go completely in reverse. Like, how unlucky is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> the tornado grows into an EF3 right on top of his house and is doing a jig in his living room. Hello, sheep. Come with me. I've come to take you to the promised land. Yes, it looks a lot like imminent death, but that's just because all the 800 mile an hour dust particles are going into your eyes. When those sheep go flying, we call that the yeeting of the meat. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy here, Mother Nature, destroying all your power and setting your family on fire. So much for uploading your YouTube videos tonight, bitch. All right, we're EF3, but we're in EF4 categories now. I want to see that one. I mean, all the farmers don't want to see it, but I do. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to draw my initials on the ground with my path of destruction, but sadly it goes away after a short time. Hey, Dev, can we get the destruction to stay around the little trail of pain? EF4 coming through. I'm actually not a tornado. I'm an independent insurance agent. Gotta keep those raids nice and high. I can't wait till I get to the free board. I am really curious exactly how far these things can go. My job is to abduct cows now. This is what you get for being uppity. All right, get ready. 
<laughs> it's about to be a meat storm up in here. This is a vegan unfriendly tidal wave. They're running. Oh, that was a big cluster right there. It was like a glorious cyclone of fresh cut sandwich meat. I can only imagine what the conversation is like between a tornado and its wife. The wife tornado was like, what did you do today, honey? And the male tornado was like, I pulled cow's stomachs out from their mouths. I like how they don't even run. <laughs> they just accept the inevitable. <laughs> it was such a bad idea to put a gas station across the street from a gas station. The only thing that can make a tornado better is when fire creeps up inside of its giant tendrils. That nationwide guy is going to be hunting me down. I was in the neighborhood trying to become an F5 tornado. I heard some kids want a day off from school. Guess what? We can handle that. There we go. School's out forever, kids. <laughs> oh, look, if you look closely, you can actually see the tears and souls pouring out of the windows. It's a very proud day as a parent watching your little child tornado grow up from an EF3 to an EF4. You know what, kid? I'm so proud of you. Go ahead and destroy that gas tanker right over there. Yep. Perfect. This tornado's ass is getting so big, I don't even really have to do anything. I just kind of have to hold down on the forward button. Its gigantic hips just end up killing everything without my involvement. Oh, that moment when an EF5 goes right through your backyard. There's a barn with some silos over here that thought that I forgot them. No, I just forgot my wallet. Had to head back to pick it up. There we go. What's the matter, wind turbines? All I am is concentrated wind. Don't you love me? So now that I've ruined enough lives, I get to finally free roam and see just how fast I can get the winds of this tornado going. Obviously my tornado winds are powered by the tears of those who dare live in the flatlands. Oh, oh hold up there, fan. Come on back. That van is like, Jesus Christ, did that tornado just do a full U-turn? That's right, you little bastard. Come back here, give me that $5 you owe me. <laughs> uh, where the hell did the van go? I'm only an EF2. And the van just disintegrated. <laughs> so if I'm pulled over on the side of the road and a car runs into me, that's, I, I have the right of way, correct? Like he's at fault, <laughs> right? <laughs> he landed it. That's amazing. He stuck the landing back out of his tires. <laughs> I wonder if anyone realizes that I'm lasering in on their houses like a heat seeking missile. Like they go to the police station and they're like, police, someone broke into my house. And the police are like, what did they look like? And they say, it looked like a tornado. Imagine mother nature, but perpetually pissed off. That's what it was. As a tornado, anytime you see a gas tanker just sitting out in the middle of a field, you have to go out of your way to screw with it. Should catch the uh, flame spout uh, right on the bottom here. There it is. I love drinking the insurance claims of human beings. It's like a fine wine. Why is there like one single cow out here? Normally there's like a group of them, but this is just one cow. Here, you don't have any friends anyway. I'll help you out. There we go. <laughs> you can come with me. I'll be your friend. The only problem is typically my friends end up having their legs separated from their body. All right, hold on. I got to slow down. I want to keep juggling all these cars. What are all these goddamn explosions going on around me? All right, if I, if I hang out right here, I think that the cars will circle me like a, like a hula hoop. Coming up on these cows and be like, hey, Listen, you better check on one of your buddies. He's all alone and he's looking really sad. And they're like, oh, where is he? He's at the bottom level of hell. Watching all of the legs detach themselves from the torso of the cows is the oddest thing in this game. It's like mother nature forgot to give cows joints. The best part is if you slow down and just stop on top of them, you get to juggle all of the cow parts. See this, it's like a uh, burger cyclone. Because of all the fire and electricity, they're well done. If you've got the balls, you can reach in there and try and grab one. Grain silos? I don't think so. You think you can come onto my property and feed your family, you bastards? Nature was here first. Two power boxes for the price of one. 911. What's your emergency? A tornado just power bombed my gas station. Okay. Ready, F4. Had a lot of stuff inside of my tornado. It's a lot like having a big beard. 
clumps of macaroni and cheese and cereal and milk and stuff all caught up in there. Tornadoes and humans have a lot in common. Humans wear animal fur. Tornadoes wear animal fur. This neighborhood looks as good as any to curb stomp until I'm an F5. There it is. We're not stopping here though. Honestly, no one should be too mad because I'm staying inside of my lane and everything. It's getting to the point where I have no idea what the hell I'm destroying anymore. This thing is so goddamn big. Okay. The tornado is so powerful now that it's throwing cars in the air and they just never land. It's like one dude that decided to live on the hill over here. I don't even have to come close to houses anymore. Welcome to the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna send this whole goddamn town back to the Stone Age. Bringing fire and depression wherever I go. I'm not big enough yet. I gotta see if anything happens at 2,000 points. I'm kind of curious at exactly how this point system works. Is this like the number of how many children's college tuitions is being used to fix all the damage? I see civilization in the distance. Is that an airplane over there? God, you might as well paint a sign on yourself that says tornado come get me. Airplanes love the air. We were made to be together. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Oh, I ripped it in half. There's a big farm ahead over here. Someone put a lot of money into this. A lot of money. <laughs> here, let me give you guys some lightning. Make it worthwhile at least. Hey, you don't mind if I just park my tornado right in your driveway, do you? These two tractor tires have just been chilling inside of my tornado for like five miles now. They're like the ice cubes inside of my cocktail. To your left you'll notice that several animals are used as body wash for a tornado. I miss this guy's farm. I wouldn't want to leave anyone out now. Oh yeah, this is a fantastic view. You get an excellent shot of all the sorrow. All right, I gotta get at least 3,000 points just to see if anything happens. These winds are already going at like Mach 2 because they cause stuff to completely defy gravity. This is the last bastion of living creatures at this point. After I kill these, there'll be nothing left on the entire map that's alive. How does it feel, cow, to be the last creature on Earth? <laughs> He's probably like, it sucks. Well, we did it. We became a tornado that's so big that it defies common logic and we destroyed literally every single thing on the map. Half of the map's still inside my tornado. The damn thing's so big, I can't even see around it anymore. Look at fresh, clean, houseless mother nature. Just the way she would want it. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Tornado Strike Zone. Till next time, stay foxy much love.